It is Matt for AVNation.TV. We're here in sunny San Diego for Cedia 2017, and we are in the Pro Audio Technology booth. I'm here with Larry. Larry, how are you doing today? Doing great. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Larry, for any of our viewers or, or integrators who don't know of the company, can you give me a quick overview of uh, your history? Sure. So Pro Audio Technology we started 14 years ago. Okay. Uh, we came out of the high-end two-channel audio community. Mm -hmm. uh, like everybody else, we built uh, some center channel speakers and some on-wall effects channels uh, back in the two-channel days, sat down and listened to it and decided it didn't really sound like a theater. Right. So it prompted us to figure out how do we move forward with creating an experience for a customer that sounds more like when you go to the movie theater. Right. And that's when we had the epiphany that the idea was to figure out how to do a commercial grade cinema system that you could put in your home okay. and start bringing commercial cinema technology into the house, right. but do it at the audiophile grade. Right. Because that's something that's overlooked a lot of times is the reason your home theater doesn't sound the same as the commercial theaters is because they're using commercial grade equipment all through that signal chain, all through that processing chain. Correct. So what was the approach that you guys brought that made that so uh, feasible? Well, the first thing was to get away from using home audio components. Okay. You know, if, you're, if you're using little tweeters, little mm -hmm. mid-range drivers with tiny little magnets, you know, small yep. motor systems, mm -hmm. you're very limited on output and you're very limited on dynamics. Right. So with our product, everything's all professional grade. Okay. It's all compression driver technology, mm -hmm. horn-loaded tweeters, right. uh, very high power handling, very high sensitivity drivers, and then a lot of power okay. on the amplifiers to drive those. So when, when you look at our line, it's essentially a commercial cinema system scaled down in size to fit in your house. We, we've paid attention to engineering it to the right. what the home environment needs for size. size. Right. right. Very good. You alluded to uh, amplification. Now, this is a new product that you guys are releasing this uh, at the show here. It's a revision of a current product. Okay. Sorry. Correct. Yes. Revision of a current product. Um, tell us a little bit about this. Sure. So, two years ago, we introduced what was called the DMA 1508 amplifier. Mm -hmm. It is eight channels in one RU. Okay. Out of the box, it comes with two 300 watt channels and six 100 watt channels. Okay. Now the 100 watt channel pairs are bridgeable to mono, so you can form right. other 300 watt channels. Very nice. But the original model was all RCA input, so all single ended in design. Yep. Now on our larger systems, what we've seen are the dealers using the larger amplifiers at the higher power levels mm -hmm. to drive the speakers and subs, right. but then they like to use the small amplifier to run the effects channels and the Atmos channels. Right. The issue being that we're running fully balanced on the larger amps, single-ended on the smaller amplifiers. So what you have that's new here with this amplifier is the fact that it's a DMA 1508 oh, nice. with all balanced input capabilities. Nice. So now we can have the whole signal path stay fully balanced. Right. Now did you go with the, the Phoenix connectors just due to size or yes. a more traditional XLR? Correct. Okay. Since you have the one RU chassis, there's right. not enough room to have that many XLRs. I figured it was that simple, XLRs. I figured I'd ask. Correct. Very good. Uh, so if people want to find more information out about Pro Audio, where can they do that? Go to our website, uh, proaudiotechnology.com. Beautiful. Well, thank you so much. Give us a call. <laughs> and uh, for you more bet. video from the show floor, please visit avnation.tv. That's avnation.tv.